Type A3 angle base connectors are designed to be mounted on server drives. These connectors can be easily rotated. The angle which can be set ranges from 0 degrees to 330 degrees in steps of 15 degrees. This is specifically helpful in situations where the server drive is badly accessible. The wiring of the server drive must be done differently for the M23 signal connectors and the LS1 power connectors. Let's take a look at the assembly of the A3 angle base signal connector. After having removed the cover from the connector, we feed the contacts into the insert. Please note that the wires were crimped before this installation step. We lock the contacts in the insert by pushing the two insert parts together. Having completed the locking job, we now install the insert in the housing of the base signal connector. We finally assemble the cover in order to protect the connector against environmental pollution. We lift the cover of the LS1 power connector in order to do the wiring. First we crimp the contacts onto the wires. In the next step, we insert the contacts into the insulation body of the connector housing. To complete the assembly, we mount the cover back onto the connector housing. The next step is the assembly of the LS1 cable connector to the servo cable. The assembly set consists of all necessary parts, including the contacts and a manual. After having stripped the sheets off the cable, we prepare the screen in order to get an effective EMC shielding. Now we crimp the contacts onto the wires. The manual tells us how to adjust the crimping tool. After having completed the crimping, we insert the contacts into the insulation body. We then mount the connector housing onto the cable, finishing the installation by locking the cap nut. We can now merge the cable connector and the connector on the server drive. Watch out for the arrows on both connectors, which indicate the right mating position. For the assembly of the M23 connectors, the inserts and contacts must be ordered separately, depending on your application and hence the required number of pins. First, we prepare the cable. This happens in a similar way as exemplary described using the LS1 power connector. We feed the crimped contacts into the insert, lock the insert and plug it into the cable connector housing. We then mount the connector housing onto the cable, finishing the installation by locking the cap nut. Again, note the arrows on both connectors, enabling you an easy and safe installation. 